Hello everybody, hope you're having a nice Friday. My name is Demulius, the last episode we left off over here. And I just picked up something. Something with the arms building. Building key. Uh, yeah, we kind of already did that, so that doesn't really help us much. Now, we are going to focus on the other... Ooh! Damn, that's a nice waterfall. Focus on uh, the other quests that we have, and I think they're all roughly located in the same area. And, uh... Whoa, what the fuck? Keep him quiet, Cap. Hmm. All right. So let's start with this one. Here we go. Run! Wanted to use abilities, but they are already dead. So, all right. So, this group gave us a lot uh, less troubles than the previous group did. Then again, I think it was also a bigger group, so that wouldn't make sense. Oh, you're welcome. Mapper residence. Why is a single house? Okay, I'm confused, but we'll go take a look. Maybe the. And I uh, almost knocked over a glass of water. That, uh, I think it was a boy that was missing. Maybe he's over here. Uh. A visitor? What an unexpected surprise! Please, come in. Come in. Uh, okay, I'm thank you. a real bad fight or flight right now. Watch your step. People ain't this friendly outside city walls. The air mm. shortages orders were perfectly nice, and they lived outside the city walls. Well, maybe not Adelaide, but anyone else. Okay. That's the spirit. Now come in. Make yourselves comfortable. Uh, thanks. Don't mind if I do. Excellent. You've arrived at just the right time. My wife is putting the finishing touches on dinner. Please, make yourself at home until it's ready. Something ain't right about this. Hmm. The... Wait, the secret people? So I guess we're dinner or something? Oh, hello there. You come for... for, uh, dinner? Uh, yeah, I guess so. It wasn't my plan, though. Are you sure? Because someone came for dinner yesterday. Or a week ago. Wasn't that you? Maybe not. Okay, you seem confused. It just gets hard to remember things. I recall moments, feelings, but the details slip. I felt like that after my dad passed. Walked around in a haze for weeks. I'm sorry you're feeling that way, too. Other times, it's like there's fog. I... Sorry, have we talked about this before? Maybe I can help you. That's mm -hmm. nice of you. I usually feel better after I eat. Mama said dinner's almost ready, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone now. Just how many people live in this house? Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? Rocket candies? What are you talking about? You know, the ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on the front. They don't taste very good, but they make me feel so nice. Hungry, too. She looks a little bit sickly. Uh, I don't have anything That's like that. too bad. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. Okay, tell me about this man. Mama and Papa said he came from the city. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. And they worked. Now we feel better than ever. Mama says they're a gift from the Eternal. The Eternal? Why isn't he bringing you more rocket candies? He said they were making us sick. Mama and Papa got real mad at him for that. Well, you don't look very healthy. 
afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. Oh, they were gonna have a talk with him. Oh, all right. People see, don't see this, but I was okay. making a finger quotes. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. We wouldn't want to intrude. What's this done? What's a little bit of poetry? What? This is the last one, it's like... Okay, so that thing is definitely off. Playing cards. You can just look into this room. Okay, then. For sudden asshole. Ain't enough that the raps eat everyone. Now people are doing it too. Okie dokie. So what's this done? It's a unique. Yeah, what are these things called? No, none of us have one of these, but I think. Uh... Extremely light blade for faster and continuous cuts. Alright, yeah, so that was a bit, you know, easy to see coming, but yeah, still. <laughs> yeah, we are coming prepared downstairs. But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear, you've been nosy, haven't you? The murdering cannibal accuses me of being nosy? Quickly, my dear, he's getting agitated. We can't let the meat spoil. Don't worry, we'll make this quick. Agreed. On the floor. They didn't deserve to die so clean. I wouldn't say if it was clean, but uh Shame we had to kill the kids as well, but they they also turned on us. So. so okay, that was a little bit grim. Raptor don't don't. Uh don't play around. They just create holes in, in in the walls and stuff. Hmm. Careful. Only things you'll find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you. Or both. Yeah, we just met a few of those. To live here. Do you suppose anyone remembers anymore? Oh! oh. Here they come!
same model of church that they had in uh, Nashville. Uh, I guess it makes sense that they would have prefabricated buildings and the like, but... Burn of Scythe, cool. into more reptiles than anything else really. Hmm. It's kinda funny how all of these colonies have like more ruins than actual still habited buildings uh, this time. The locks that we're running into are not that super complicated, honestly. So where is the question mark? Wait, what? Vending machine? Where? Okay, that was weird. Something tells me this isn't water. That's a electric, yeah, yeah. That's oh, a tactical shotgun, though. It's, it's kind of short range. Watch your feet. The sulfur pools don't just stink, they'll take a toe off. Here we go. Whoa. Some more bandits. I think we're getting ready. Uh, well, not ready. Getting close to the spots where all these uh, Manti Queens and the like uh, should be. Even when we're walking, I didn't expect us to be that stealthy, but... I guess when your opponent's sleeping, it's easy to be stealthy. Hey, and the vending machine. Canids.
So if I can blow up most of that group, and why the fuck am I getting the hiccups while I'm laughing? That's weird. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. This monarch itself. Let me check. Hmm. Not exactly. So, more of these sulfur pools. Oh, we're getting close now. Hmm. Well, someone has been out here hunting uh, raptor knots. Nothing to see here. Move along. Here we go. That armor. Got it. Ah. This is the only one. Rest here. Other. Continue. Hmm. So I guess these guys sort of have like a faction, considering they got the flags and everything. Ember Heights. Is this like a settlement they have, or is this one that they uh, claimed? Hmm. Titus Andromachus. <laughs> Burbage. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. Um. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Uh, who are the iconoclasts? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. No problems with our drops on some marauders. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Uh, one big happy family, huh? That's a nice way to think about it. Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. Mm. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Tell me about Graham. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. Tell me about Zora. She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. 
and she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's mm. liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. Okay. Where can I find him? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Sora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Okay, and why are you guys here and not instead of Brian? Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor, something about rising from the ashes. Okay, it's all I take. Before I go, I'm looking for a Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Okay, up the hill. Seems like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. Alright, so the, these flags were from the Iconoclast, and they are, are not people with Pamela's side. Right. How many good folk we gonna lose to our mission? That's just the way of it. We gotta earn our keep out here. That don't mean we ought to be following her into the jaws of a mantis. You'd rather sit on your thumb and starve? No, all I'm saying is you gotta be more careful throwing away lives like that. Carry hmm. on. Well, you know, these people gotta eat something. And this ground doesn't really look like it's suitable for agriculture, so yeah. Ooh, French. Let, let's go talk to the logs, I guess. Uh, I thought this uh, the missing boy w w would be in the location where all the mantic queens and such were, but apparently not. Guess I uh, misunderstood the uh, the description that they gave of it. But that's fine. All I'm saying is it ain't worth it. It's gonna taste like sulfur all the same. Uh huh. Taro's got that sweet blood. So? You gotta boil it or you'll get sick. Then all that sweetness takes to the air anyhow. Nah, don't boil it. We gotta get sick all the same. <laughs> Might as well enjoy it. Oh god. Don't boil. You want the runs? Better than tasting sulfur and dirt every damn day. I'm not too sure about that, but you know, future run. Hello, named NPC. Ah, oh, hello. Good to see you again. Hey. Hey, you made it back. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except being locked up. Right. So how are you holding up? Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg foot area. Where did my foot end and my leg begin? Wherever that is, it hurts. Your ankle? So, no runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back and relax. How'd you hurt your leg? Uh, I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get away from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up, but good. I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. Long, long way out Don't of stop commission. Hurting, I guess. Sora says I'll be fine in a month or so. Yes. Lefty kicking at some. Why? Just to hurt your leg. Oh, ha. You're funny. Right, sorry to hear about. See you around, Lefty. <laughs> He's still weird. Hello. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? It's Captain Hawthorne. <laughs> or sort <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's hang, hang on to the name of Hawthorne. Uh, although, honestly, I think I can use my real name here. 
Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? No, uh, not exactly. You're Agnes' little boy from Stutter Bay? I am not a little boy. I yeah, have well, been one for decades. We noticed. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. Not exactly. Well, she made it seem like you were in danger. Asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Vantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Right, right, comb your tits, Jesus. So let's persuade him. Running away is for coward. You need to face her and sorry you're grown up. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? The uh, yeah, I don't know. You survived outside the stellar break for weeks. Show her the skills you've learned. <sighs> you're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. Right, well, good luck with that, friend. Alright, so that's one task done. So let's talk to the locals here and uh, see what they can offer us. Never seen you before. Holy oh, shit, he's rough. I'm new here. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, Get to the vent. I've been halfway around two one. <laughs> Monarch they call it now. Seen around it twice. Said it's a hot pole and a cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. What's happened to you here? A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? There might be a job in it for you. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. What they do? Mostly we protect the folk from the beasts here. If it's fat, scratched, or stung, we kill it for you. So long as you had the bits. We split ways around the time this twice fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. Now I've been thinking about seeing what's found. You want memories? Want photographs? Or thereabouts? So what if they're still alive? I'll be glad for it. But I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. I just want some closure. All right, one log box coming right up. Appreciate it, kid. I'm marking now post on your map. You spend a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. There's a key for the door. Oh, that's convenient. Ooh. Let's see. Laminated. So what is this place? Okay, I thought these, uh, what do you call it, these leaders were up here, but this is the bar area, I guess. Hmm. Alright, we're ready to talk to Huxley. Oh, it's freaking weird. Uh, da, 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 da.
just got erupted on lying in the middle of nowhere. This the place then? Romantic. Yeah. We fell hey. the line, but we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. Well, hello there. The stranger comes to our homes. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. All right. So what do you teach? The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Uh -huh. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now. Why have you come? Now, if you're building a society, you do need something in the ways of rules and st structure, but uh, yeah. So tell me about the iconoclasts. The iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs. All petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Right. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. Okay. So is this why the board has cornered off, Monarch? Oh, yes. Gunships hover in our skies, ready for the day they decide to come to our doors waving banners of war. The perception of visionaries is often tainted by the lies of their oppressors. A sad state of affairs, to be sure. All right. So, uh, never Why mind. Have you come? I have come because I, uh... I'm just looking for ways to help people here. Anything you need? A great many things, in fact. Yep. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. Now for your flyers. The printing press? A monarch? Oh, yes. Many facilities lie abandoned in the wilderness. I believe the press could be operational again with a little elbow grease and luck. Sounds to me like a nifty little challenge. And just so happens that we're all some engineers. Fuck yeah. I agree wholeheartedly. Our own little fixer-upper. Right. Will you aid us in our cause? Uh, sure. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Oh, God. Speaking of Huxley. which... Where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Oh, forget it. Huxley's still recovering. He won't be up for a run for a while yet. Oh, it's a she. Okay. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. MSI supplier? You? One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Of course they do. So where's the supplier? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Alright. Uh, the run from the northern ruins? I hope to get out of here. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs. So eager to learn. So bright-eyed, so... Tone-deaf. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, 
Not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. She's a really rough, rough around the edges, but I like her, uh, not quite sure what the word is, but that you're, like, more focused on practical things. Pra pragmatic, I guess? Right. Uh, anyway, and, uh, looking at the time, I think it's time to call off the episode. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. My name is Moon, so I'll see you guys next time.